All right, hopefully this is working. So I'm making this video to clear up some confusion about installing this uh, load screen here in any of your projects. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. I'm opening up this new desktop. I'm gonna take you through from start to finish. So if you go to this video and you click here in the link, uh, it'll take you to the GitHub. And all you gotta do is click this, click download zip. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and click that to unzip it. It's the wrong desktop, buddy. All right. And then you'll be greeted with, yeah, my fan's about to kick up like crazy because my computer fucking sucks. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and quit Chrome real quick. So hopefully that'll help fix this. So, um, yeah, so you'll be greeted with this folder, which has a readme and this. This is the folder you're going to actually put in your project. So then we're gonna go ahead and go to any project you wanna put it in. For me, I'm just gonna throw it in one of my old tutorials. Uh, I'll do Selective Glow because it's an easier tutorial. Um, there's nothing in here. Also, this is actually important. So the Particles Cache tutorial, um, this uses a particle effect and because it's right at the beginning of your game, using particles causes lag. Uh, and so this might look a little weird if you're not caching particles. So definitely go watch the uh, Particles Cache tutorial and do that. If, if you see this, I'll show you, I'll point it out to you if it bothers you. Um, but so what we're going to do here is uh, I have a folder called scenes here and I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in there. So this is again in a Godot project folder. So I can close this now because we're done with that. Uh, you can see here's my project.godot file. And if I go here to scenes, you can see right there it says Godot load screen final. If you just dragged and dropped it and you're not seeing it, try restarting the editor because uh, sometimes it has some trouble re-importing assets. Um, now we're going to go ahead and do, oh yeah, my fan's going nuts, y'all. Uh, okay, so, oh, I'm a little worried right now because I could have sworn I just pushed changes to GitHub that uh, got rid of this glow world environment scene. Okay, a little bit concerned. So hopefully this works out. <laughs> Um, but essentially what you'll do is go ahead and click, I'm sorry, it actually let me do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, because, okay, yeah. So the world environment is still included in the file. I should probably delete that. But uh, you don't need it because instead of making it a scene, I made it its own world environment in this, um, which, yeah, forget about it. So uh, essentially what will happen right now is if you run this, it should actually work. Um, but what you might get prompted with, uh, so yeah, here, actually just to demonstrate that, I'm gonna do it in a different project. Um, sorry about that. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Um, yeah, I'll do it in the particles cache tutorial. And I'll just go ahead and uh, paste it in here. Okay, and we'll open up this one. Okay. So here's this. And now if you go ahead and click on one of these scenes, you'll get this um, quite often, right? Which is, uh, you know, whatever fixed dependencies. Click fix dependencies, kick, click fix broken, and it fixes them. Um, it's, it's literally that simple. I'm going to close that because we actually don't need to open that scene. This is the one we actually need to open. Again, fix broken fixes all of them. Um, and then click open anyway after you fix it. Now, uh, I made uh, some changes to this since the last one. Oh, it's big. Um, so essentially what I did is I made this a uh, color rect um, control instead of a node 2D. So that does a few things. One is that it makes sure that this will span the entire uh, rectangle. And you can then set the background color of uh, this to be whatever you want. So if you want this to be like, you know, magenta for some odd reason, <laughs> you're, you're welcome to do that. Um, oh, it's setting it back to white. I'll just set it back to black. Uh, there we go. For some reason, like full black is like not my favorite. Um, and it looks really bright right here, but when you run it, it won't be as bright. And you can see that it works pretty well. Now, uh, you might notice that it, if, if your game is crashing, that's a real issue. And definitely, um, you know, go ahead and look down in your output in debugger here and errors and see what's happening. Um, oh, that's in not the scene, <laughs> but um, yeah. So it, essentially, it, 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 so everything's working. We fixed dependencies, it should work. But as you noticed, uh, two things are different from my original thing. And I put those in here. 
So the one most important thing uh, is that basically when this is done, we don't know what scene your uh, title screen is. So we went ahead and in fact, I'll actually make this work here. Um, so here's my title screen scene, let's say, right? Uh, so we've got uh, on change scene, timer, timeout. Uh, I said print change scene here. Um, and so what we're actually gonna do is do this. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna come right here, click and drag our title screen in there. Now I have a much more advanced transitioner, which is why I didn't just leave this in there. And also I wanted it not to cause an error. Um, so now when this finishes, it just changes to the scene. Now I, I have one that like fades out uh, and stuff like that, uh, which I'm actually thinking about making a tutorial on because it's a nice global script. Any scene you want, you just call transition or transition out and to this scene, transition to this scene, use this transition, it's really nice. Um, but uh, regardless, that's that's one thing that I think might have confused people. Uh, the second thing is that you might notice that there's no camera shake here, which just it looks kind of weird. Uh, and that was a really important thing. And this is where I put it. So, so here I added camera shake. You'll need to do this on your own. Uh, and the reason is because uh, camera shake again is more a kind of complex thing that uh, was really tied into. Uh, sorry if anyone's commenting by the way right now because I'm not um, looking at that. I'm just trying to. Uh, just go through this, but um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my camera shake is again another thing that's a little confusing. I have a camera node that is basically on every scene, and it has a function that I made called shake, which causes the camera to shake. There are plenty of good tutorials out there. There's a guy, um, Plug World, uh, I like his personally the best. Mine is different than his, but it's kind of uh, he his is how I got my jumping off. Um, go check him out for sure. Plug World TV, he's got a really good series on how to make a uh. Uh, wave shooter tutorial or whatever it's called and it's it's great um, and uh, yeah so that's he talked about camera shake in there and that's how I learned to make this camera shake so I'd recommend that uh, I uh, obviously you know if people are interested I will make one myself it's not particularly difficult but it's uh, it's cool mine is also different than I think anyone else's I've seen uh, on YouTube just slightly just things that I prefer that are my custom preference but maybe hey maybe you like the way I think um, anyway, yeah, so that will work, and now you've got a working load screen. Um, so yeah, the, the lag is not uh, tremendous, but yeah. Uh, the other thing you might notice is like maybe you don't like the size, of course, uh, and sizing is very easy. Uh, you just go here to this control. So this is a control that has all that stuff, and we can change the uh, scale here. So I have this, should be centered, right? Yeah, it's centered. And then you can change the scale of this whole thing. Uh, just by going to here and then click scale and or you could actually just do it this way click this little thing up in the corner here hold shift of QRs. oopsies that was the wrong way okay it should shrink to the center but it's not so shrink it to whatever you want um, go ahead and center it yeah, why is it not working why is it not working huh? I think I know why so it's because the central pivot point so if we do this undo that go here um and i'll probably just fix this and upload this to get github so you don't have to deal with this but the pivot offset is up in the right hand or the top left corner so we're just going to make that in the center here so the size is uh 320 by 320 so we want the pivot offset to be 320 by 2 i don't feel like doing math even though that is stupid easy Aaron. you stupid Okay, and then um, now we can go ahead and scale. So if you do, that's weird. Ah, you know why that's happening. Yeah, that's why you want to do this and actually use the scaler. Um, and then you can do something like that. And then you can, yeah. So yeah, actually don't just use this. Make sure you're using the scaler button there. Um, and then now we've got something that looks good and we should be able to run that. And yeah, of course you can scale it wherever you want. Um, so yeah, I think I'll go ahead and just fix that uh, pivot offset thing because I know that'll probably confuse people uh, And then it'll be fairly easy to do all this and, and the reason you can't just use uh, this to uh, Modify this is because we're putting a regular node inside a control node So it's not really listening to all the things that uh, These labels will because they're control nodes They know what to watch out for when you shrink and expand a control node the this this guy you know, he's got no anchor. He's just like, you know, what the hell are you, what are you doing? Um, 
So yeah, uh, if you've got any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me, comment, let me know. Um, I'm pretty good at responding. I just went on a 26 uh, reply with some guy who had questions on my video. So, you know, I'm there, I'll help you. Uh, I want people to be able to use this engine to make uh, cool games, man. It's, it's lit, it's lit. Um, yeah, oh, and then, yeah, sorry, one final thing, if you, Go check out my tutorial on using the world environment because I go into it in more detail than I'll go here But if you want to change how much things are glowing uh, This is probably the easiest way just come down here, and then you can go ahead and adjust the strength here uh, and the intensity and um, Yeah, so that'll be there. Anyway, uh, that's it folks. So Thank you guys so much for watching and um, Yeah, I hope you have a great day